Welcome to Zen Quiz. Today is 1st November 2018 and we will be discussing all the important questions from today's current affairs. All these questions will be important for your various competitive examinations like SSC, Bank, Clerk, BCS and so on. So let's go to the first question. Which nation has signed a deal with the World Bank for cash transfer? Your options are A. India, B. Bangladesh, C. Pakistan and D. Nepal. The answer for this is B. Bangladesh. So the government of Bangladesh has recently signed a $300 million loan agreement with World Bank to improve transparency and efficiency of its major cash transfer programs for the poorest and the vulnerable. The credit for this is provided by International Development Association, which is the World Bank's concessional lending arm, which provides grants or zero interest loans. The credit has been provided with a 30-year term, 38-year term, including 6-year grace period and a service charge of 0.75%. Bangladesh's cash transfer modernization project will help the Department of Social Services modernize the country's four major social protection programs using cash transfers by improving beneficiary targeting, program administration and benefit Moving on to the next question, which two nations were declared joint winners of the Asian Champions Trophy? Options are A. India and China, B. Bangladesh and Pakistan, C. India and Pakistan, D. Sri Lanka and Pakistan. So, your answer is C. India and Pakistan. So, recently, 5th Men's Hero Asian Champions Trophy was held in Muscat where India and Pakistan were declared as the joint winners. And due to bad weather conditions, the match of both the countries were declared as joint winners. Though India was looking forward to defend the title, which it had won in Kuantan, Malaysia in 2016. The Indian team were the highest scoring team in the competition as they scored a total of 30 goals in 6 matches. So the answer is C. India and Pakistan. Next, which nation has slapped fine worth 500,000 pounds on Facebook? Options are A. Germany, B. Britain, C. United States, D. France. Answer is B. Britain. So the Britain's information regulator has slapped Facebook with a, a small but symbolic fine for breaches of data protection law after millions of users data was improperly accessed by consultancy, Cam consultancy Cambridge Analytica. Recently, Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg had faced questioning by US and EU lawmakers over how the political consultancy obtained the personal data of 87 million Facebook users from a researcher. So your answer is B. Britain. Next, who has won the 2018 presidential election held in Brazil? The options are A. Jair Bolsonaro, B. Dilma Rousseff, C. Fernando Haddad, D. Mikhail Temer. Answer is A. Jair Bolsonaro. So he is a far right, pro gun and pro torture populist and is the leader of Social Liberal Party. He has defeated his leftist leftist rival Ferdinand Haddad, who has secured who had secured 44.8% of the votes. So the answer is A. Next, where is the fifth national summit on public health being held? Options are A Assam, B Arunachal Pradesh, C New Delhi, D Hyderabad. So the fifth national summit on good and replicable practices and innovations in public health care system is being held at Kazi Ranga in Assam. So the answer is A. Assam. This summit was addressed by Union Health Minister J.P. Nata and various awards were given at this summit. The highest annual decline in neonatal mortality rate 2015 versus 2016 was awarded to Himachal Pradesh. 
and the award for best performing state in the category of indoor services was given to Goa. So the answer is A. Assam. Next, world's tallest statue of unity unveiled on birth, birth anniversary of Sardar Vallabhai Patel has been built in which state? Options are A. Hyderabad, B. Gujarat, C. Bihar, D. Maharashtra. So recently, Prime Minister Narendra Modi unveiled the Statue of Unity, which at 182 meter is the tallest in the world and is a tribute to freedom icon Sardar Vallabhai Patel on his 143rd birth anniversary. It has been built on islet Sadhu Ped near Sardar Sarova Dam in Gujarat's Narmada district. So your answer is B. Gujarat. Now something about the statue. The statue depicts Sardar Vallabhai Patel, India's first home minister, wearing a traditional dhoti and shawl, towering over river Narmada. The statue has been designed by Padma Bhushan winning sculptor Ram V. Sutar. Now this can itself be a question for you. And it has been built by Larson and Dubro and the state run Sardar Sarovar Narmada Nigam Limited. The statue has a viewing, viewing gallery which can accommodate 200 visitors at a time. And this gallery offers a view of the Sardar Sarovar Dam, its reservoir, and the Satpura and Vindhya mountain ranges. So the answer is B. Kuchra. Next, which country has recently announced joining the International Solar Alliance? Options are A. Japan, B. Russia, C. France, D. China. Recently, 13th India-Japan Annual Bilateral Summit was held in Tokyo, in which Japan became the 71st nation to sign the agreement to join the Global Alliance the 48th to ratify it. Several other MOUs were signed. 32 MOUs were signed and 57 and a letter of intent was also exchanged in which 57 Japanese companies conveyed their decision to make an investment of about 2.5 billion US dollars in India. A 75 billion dollar bilateral currency swap agreement was also signed to enhance financial and economic cooperation. So the answer is A. Japan. Next, foundation of India's largest dry dock has been laid in which state? The foundation of country's largest dry dock has been laid at Cochin Shipyard, Kerala. So your answer is A. Kerala. And it has been done by Union Minister Nitin Khatkari and Kerala Chief Minister Pinarai Vijayan. The dry dock has been constructed to give an impetus to the Make in India initiative under Sagar Mala and raise share India's share in global shipbuilding market to 2% from 0.66% at present. So your answer is E. Kerala. Next, which country donated about you? 300,000 US dollar for the pipeline to peacekeeping command program of the UN. Your options are A. France, B. India, C. Russia, D. Israel. Answer is B. India. So, India has donated 300,000 US dollar for peacekeeping initiative at the UN that will focus on issues of conduct along with sexual exploitation and abuse and help develop the capacity of future commanders and managers to lead by example. The program will be for over of three year, period of three years, which will help, help develop the capacity of future commanders and managers to lead by example and raise awareness of UN standards of conduct among their personnel. India is one of the largest troop contributing countries to UN peacekeeping missions and has been a key partner in preventing and addressing sexual exploitation and abuse. So the answer is A, B, India. Next, 
Urdu writer Kazi Abdu Sattar, who passed away recently, has been award, awarded which of these civilian awards? Your options are A. Padma Shri, B. Padma Vibhushan, C. Padma Bhushan, D. None of the above. Answer is E. Padma Shri. Noted Urdu writer and former head of Alikar Muslim University's Urdu department, Professor Kazi Abdu Sattar passed away recently. He was also the first recipient of Kalib Academy Award in 1978. His most famous short story, Pital Ka Ghanta, drew acclaim in the Hindu literary world. In his early writings focused on the decline of Samindari culture in the Abad region. His other notable novels include Tara Shiko, Khalid bin Walid, and Ghalib, which are considered a masterpiece in this genre. So, your answer is A. Padmashri. That's all for today. We'll be meeting again tomorrow with a new set of questions. Thank you so much.